And turning now to your weekend forecast, live pictures this morning from App State. You can see the mountains there in the background. Some clouds a little bit, but as you're getting your Sunday morning started, if you're wondering what to do today, get outside, right? Yeah, it's <laughs> going to be the last day for quite a while that we're going to see this low humidity. So at least over the next uh, seven to 10 days, it doesn't look like it's going to feel this good. So get out, right. enjoy it, especially if the kids maybe are going back to school right, this week. Yeah. So could be their last day. Uh, at least we're starting off with some nice sunrises too. So if you're waking up early, maybe got some church plans, you're trying to head out the door, looking great out there from Monroe downtown. Colors in the sky looking fabulous, just like they were yesterday. Here we're, here's where we are temperature wise. You can see upper 50s for the mountains. It's a touch warmer up toward the mountains because of some of that cloud cover we just saw there from Boone. Elsewhere across the Piedmont, lower to middle 60s. Few spots in the upper 50s. Very similar overall to yesterday. In fact, likely the only thing that's a little bit different this morning is actually the fact that the feels like temperature, the dew point has already gone down. Yesterday we were dealing with still some of that muggy air kind of lingering in a few spots, but it is here and it is going to stay for the majority of your Sunday. In fact, the dew point right now in Charlotte is 55, which means it feels great out there. And in fact, the dry air closer to the ground is allowing for a little bit of this rain trying to develop over toward Greensboro to pretty much evaporate before it reaches the ground. It's called Virgo where rain falls from the clouds, but it goes through that layer of dry air and boom, it's gone. Pretty much what's happening this morning. So if you're in an area that's seeing some low cloud cover, you could be dealing with some of that too later on today. Now, in terms of cloud cover, we are going to see more of it today. It won't be quite as sunny as yesterday, starting off partly sunny for most of you, eventually reaching a mixture of sunshine and clouds. At times it could be mostly cloudy, but still not a terrible day to get outside. Uh, playground, you won't have to worry about that equipment getting too hot like it has been right when we've been in the 90s. It'll peak in the mid to upper 80s with a few more of those clouds and again, low humidity throughout the rest of your afternoon. Now the UV index is still going to be very high today, even though we're expecting a few more clouds. Some of those high clouds, uh, you can still see that sun beating down uh, between them. But what you'll notice Monday, Tuesday is really especially tomorrow, more clouds as the storm system rolls through and then we only get up to about a seven there on Tuesday. So won't be days that'll be uh, the sun quite as aggressive as what we've seen as of late. Now, I do want to point out that uh, daylight hours for most of us are going to be nice and dry today. The one difference is for areas north of I-40, we could see a few showers and thunderstorms developing uh, between about 5 to 8 p.m. And then closer to the Piedmont, northern Piedmont there, mostly north there of the 485 loop, uh, you could see a few storms even closer to about 10, 11 o'clock. Now, these could pack a punch in terms of heavy rain rolling in. That'll be ahead of our main line of storms, which actually comes in Monday afternoon and evening. This line comes Coming in mainly closer to about 2 p.m. across most of the Piedmont and lasting off and on throughout the afternoon and evening. This is going to be our next big risk here to see some strong to even severe thunderstorms. Our primary impacts are going to be gusty wind in excess of 60 miles per hour and even some isolated flooding. The hail threat, the tornado threat is low, but it's not zero. So it's something we'll be watching closely. And really, that's going to be a low risk for everyone. But we know what oftentimes happens, right, with those low risks. We could have one or even two storms that get to that magnitude, but they can produce a lot of heavy rain and even downburst winds. So tomorrow, definitely a day you want to stay weather aware. Of course, have that WCNT Charlotte mobile app. And then once that storm system rolls by, we'll keep the scattered showers and storms. It'll be much more humid out there compared to what we're seeing this weekend. But we're going to get a nice little treat in the fact that the rain chances, while they're a little bit higher, temperatures will be still on the lower side. Temps will likely stay below average for this time of year, even in the low 80s for much of the next week.